Hello and welcome to the Get Creative Podcast, the podcast for creatives by creatives. I'm Evan Schmidt and my guest today is Karen Steffel. She's the principal and producer at Render Studios, a video production company based in Lansing, Michigan. Hey, Karen, thanks for coming on the show today. So tell the world a little bit about yourself. Thanks, Evan, for having me on. My name is Karen Steffel. I'm one of the principals of Render Studios in Lansing, Michigan. Uh, We actually have a new name just recently, but we have a 36-year history working under the name Such Video. We've um, spent a lot of time in Michigan doing lots of corporate and nonprofit work. Uh, And really, we've been growing and changing and exploring what happens when we listen to our own creative spirit, which is really what we've been doing for clients for so long. And really, that sometimes when you listen to your creative spirit, it takes you in directions that you really never thought you would go. And so we've been undergoing a rebranding process really for the better part of six, seven months. And um, this is where we've landed. So uh, I am from Render Studios. It feels really good to finally say that. Nice. So plenty to pull from what comes to mind when you think of something really good that you've learned um I think if I had to summarize all of my my professional experience in one single lesson well maybe two I think you know creativity doesn't happen in a vacuum collaboration is really at the heart of everything creative that we make and um, without collaboration, without excellent clients, without them bringing forth ideas or problems to solve, or without having uh, and nurturing wonderful teams over the years, nothing would have ever been accomplished and we never would have been able to be so effective for our clients. So really collaboration and people are at the heart of all of that inspiration. And I think second is um, the thing that I always tell students when I speak to them at, at, at a university setting is never stop being, you know, they always want um, career advice, which is always so challenging in a Q&A session. But I always end with by saying never stop being endlessly curious. As soon as you stop being curious about how things work or why people are the way they are or how the industry works, as soon as your curiosity is no longer wedded by the things that you're seeking out, you're not going to grow. Nice. I, I love both of those, and I'm very glad you shared two instead of one, um, especially the curiosity part. I always have to remind myself to just keep learning new things. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's really kind of, for me, um, I, I was a curious kid. I am um, passionate about reading. I love science. I love tinkering and figuring out truly and physically how things work. And so I think that really carries over into my uh, creative life as well. I really appreciate the opportunity to get inside my clients' organizations, figuring out how they work what, or what's not working and how, how, does, um, how do our solutions help solve their problems or take them to the next level. So I think curiosity is, I think that curiosity is just one of those things that is at the cellular level for me. And it's something that I have to um, (laughs) kind of satisfy on a a week in and week out basis. So that makes my job very satisfying. But um, I also am raising a couple of super curious kids. So a lot of a lot of challenges there every day. So so what are you working on right now? What do you want to pitch? Well, one of the things that um, has occurred for me, you know, I was talking about collaboration just a minute ago. But a friend of mine, um, a fellow entrepreneurial uh, female business owner, friend of mine, her name is Jen Estel. She owns a marketing company called Redhead Design. She and I have been leaning on each other for several years, getting together every six weeks or so for what we were calling boss lady drinks. And we would just kind of lean on each other for solutions to kind of the intensity of life or how we struggle um, in areas of entrepreneurial management, whether it's a tool that we use that make make our lives easier or, you know, leaning on each other for HR struggles sometimes. And, and we realized over time that we gave each other so much comfort that we're not alone in our, in our entrepreneurial struggles. Cause let's face it, it's really hard, but that if we found a lot of comfort in leaning on each other, that maybe building a community around kind of mid career communicator, females is something that would be valuable to others. And so we launched a podcast called the Speakeasy Podcast um, not long ago, just this summer. And um, and it's getting a really, really great, warm welcome from women far and wide, honestly. 
Nice. And where can people find that podcast and more information about uh, your production company as well? Sure. Uh, the Speakeasy Podcast, we have a website, thespeakeasypodcast.com. But otherwise, you can see us on all of the social channels uh, at Easy Underground. Or you can find us on uh, SoundCloud or iTunes. On iTunes, just search The Speakeasy Podcast. All right. And those will, of course, be in the show notes. So, Karen, thank you so much for your time today and getting creative with me. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it, Evan. That's it for another episode of Get Creative. You can find more information about my guest in the show notes. Be sure to subscribe so that you get the next episode in your sleep. And please give the show a review. For more information about me, go to evanschmidt.com, follow me on Twitter and LinkedIn, and watch my vlog on YouTube where I share lessons that I've learned. Thank you for listening. Now go get creative.